Hi guys, now it is my husband Clint's birthday today, isn't it? The birthday boy. And so we're going to make a cake. He gave me free range on this one and there is one that I've been wanting to try for ages. Now I've actually got it off another YouTube channel called Emma's Goodies and it is a five minute vanilla cake. Clint is pretty big on his vanilla, vanilla and caramel type flavoured stuff. So, obviously to cook something in the microwave, you'll want a microwave safe, a microwave safe dish. Now, this one, this one is about 22, 23 centimetres, about the nine inch mark. Um, it doesn't really matter what size it is, but the amount of time it takes to cook it will vary depending, you know, obviously if it's smaller, it's going to be deeper. So we'll need 85 grams of butter. I'm doing my cheapy uh -huh. table speed trick. Here. So we want to touch No, that would be 800 grams. <laughs> so, I'm just going to soften that up in the microwave. Don't melt it completely, just soften it. Okay, so we're going to put that softened butter in the bowl. So we're going to put in about 90 grams of sugar. About one teaspoon of vanilla essence. I'm just going to give them a ways up. You can just do it with a whisk. You don't have to make it frothy or anything. But I'm just lazy, so I'm using these. Now I'm going to put in about 65 oh. grams of yogurt, just plain yogurt or Greek yogurt. Apparently this is good for binding it instead of instead of using egg. Just give that a bit more of a mix up. We're going to sieve in about 160 grams of plain flour. So we need two teaspoons of baking powder. A pinch of salt. Going to add in about 180 grams of milk and give that a mix up. All right, I'll need two people who are helping me to lick these. I'm going to put that in the microwave for five minutes. Right, I took this out on the microwave tray because I'm so afraid of this flopping and like cracking it or something. But it looks like it's just pulled away from the sides beautifully. So what you want to do is a skewer test. Make sure a skewer comes out clean. That's just crumbs, it's not sloppy stuff. So it has passed the skewer test. Now I've got to turn it out. Once Sam has finished sniffing it, we will look at turning this out. Alright. I always use microwave trays to put cakes on. They're so handy. So handy. I'm nervous about this. You did it last time, didn't you? I haven't made this before. What's going to have happened? It's coming. Ooh. It looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I've got the cake cooling down. Now obviously it's a vanilla cake. It's plain. You can put whatever icing you want with it. However, the picture I saw of it, it had this beautiful white buttercream icing and it just looked absolutely superb so that's what I'm gonna do and I know Clint as I say he's big on his vanilla stuff so I'm gonna go with the vanilla buttercream okay so before I carry on with this recipe you may notice it's now a different day confession time I stuffed up <laughs> the cake itself came out beautiful it was really really nice the icing, I split the buttercream. I just didn't whisk it for long enough. I didn't quite use the right technique. It's been ages since I've tried buttercream. So 
it is the next day. I was just going to go with the video as it was, but Clint said no, do it right. So, I've made the cake again. <laughs> Came out beautiful again. Now, um, just as a side note, in our microwave it actually took six minutes, not five minutes, but the cake is beautiful. So good. So, I'm going to do this buttercream right this time. So, now, the buttercream recipe that I used called for one cup of butter and three cups of icing sugar. However, I just measured my icing sugar and I haven't got quite enough left. I haven't got time to go down to the shop because I've got to be at school for pet day today. So I'm going to go with what I've got, which is almost two cups of icing sugar. So I'm going to use about three quarters of a cup of butter and I'm just going to soften that slightly. If you've got a stand mixer, that would be ideal. So the idea is, if you put the butter in the icing sugar in a bit at a time, it whisks it up, it gets air into it, and that what's, that's what makes it nice and fluffy. Now I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla essence and a pinch of salt. There we go, that is, that is a lot better than my previous buttercream. I potentially could have whipped it a bit longer, but I'm running out of time, so. <laughs> oh, look at that. Now if, you want your, if your buttercream is a bit stiff, you want a bit runnier, you can add a bit of cream or a bit of milk into the mixture. On the flip side, if, it's, if it is a little bit on the runny side, you can just add maybe a teaspoon of corn flour or corn starch, or just add a little sprinkle of flour in there. Of course you can smooth it out, but I kinda I kinda like it. I kinda like it a bit sort of swirly whirly like that. The plate are wiped so it looks like you didn't make a great big mess everywhere and you know what you're doing. And just like that, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Who would have thought that was cooked in a microwave? That is just stunning right there. <laughs> it's time for us to make the ultimate sacrifice and taste this thing. Oh, that looks yeah, good. Yeah, sprinkles it? are on it. I want sprinkles. I want sprinkles on it. Oh, hang on. All right, we got sprinkles. That is, that is good cake. For a six minute microwave cake. It's finishing pretty quick. <laughs> mm. That is yummy. That's a bit too edible. <laughs> and it's a bit too quick to make. It's dangerous how quick you can just make a cake. <laughs> mm, but it's very nice and the texture's really good too, it's like... Yeah, it's not like... Yeah, I've, I've tried microwave cakes before, just for the sake of it, and it, the last one didn't quite turn out. That's good. Don't yep. that is... you'd, you'd best take the rest of that to work, because... Just eat it. <laughs> Do it, people. That is too nice. Like, <laughs> subscribe. Make a birthday cake. Who cares if it's not your birthday, just make it. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below. Bye.